In this video, I will teach you how you can create a quiz using Socrative. Open a web browser and go to Socrative.com. Before you can create a quiz, you need to create an account. Click on the button Teacher Login. Here you can log in using your Google account or create a new account. I will use my own account. After you signed in, you will be redirected to the dashboard. On the dashboard, you can start a quiz you've already created, start a quick question, start a game called the Space Race, and start the exit ticket. With this exit ticket, students are asked to review the course. We are going to create a new quiz. Go to the tab Manage Quizzes. Click on Create a new quiz. The first thing you need to do is to name your quiz. I will use the name Fruits. You can also choose to share this quiz with other Socrative users. Now we're going to add questions. Let's start with a multiple choice question. I will insert a picture of a passion fruit and ask the question, what fruit is this? The answers are passion fruit, papaya or guave. Passion fruit is the right answer, so I select the checkbox correct. I also add an explanation for the students. Next I'm going to add a true false question. The question is, passion fruit is originally from South America. The right answer is true. Finally I will add a short answer question. The question is, which fruit do you like best? There isn't a correct answer, so I don't enter a correct answer. I will save the quiz. The quiz is now ready to use. We've returned to the dashboard. Here we can start the quiz. There are three ways you can start a quiz. The first is student paste immediately feedback. Students will see if they answered a question correctly and they cannot skip any questions. The second option is student paste, student navigation. Students can skip questions and return to questions later on. The last one is teacher paste. In this case the teacher decides when the students can continue to another question. Let's choose the first option. Here you can change some additional settings. By default, students must enter their name. With this button you can switch that off. You can also randomize the questions and the answers. Finally, you can disable the students' feedback. Students will not see the correct answers in this case. Click to start the quiz. As you can see, you will be redirected to the quiz overview. Here you can see the answers given by the students. Before I show you the student point of view, there is one important thing you need to remember which is the room number. Let's switch to the student's perspective. Students can use their smartphone or any other device to take the quiz. They need to go to b.socrative.com. Here they need to enter the room number. This is the room number we saw earlier. They need to enter their name and they can start the quiz. Let's switch to the teacher's perspective for a minute. The teacher can see the student's response in the table. All the results of the students will be displayed in this table. It's also possible to zoom in on a specific question and see the results. The last thing you need to do is to finish the quiz. Students can't answer any more questions. You can choose to download the report with the results, view a chart or return to the dashboard. So, that's it. I hope you enjoyed this video and that it was useful. Bye.